Ladies and gentlemen, meet the newest Toyota Land Hopper. The global automotive giant Toyota, unlike previous years, unveiled four completely new surprise models at the October exhibition. These four models, capturing the attention of car enthusiasts, have disrupted traditional Toyota norms. What does Japanese Samurai Toyota promise us in this compact SUV? Before moving on to the video, I ask you to like the video and subscribe to the channel for the continuation of such videos and to support me. So let's start. Toyota has made and continues to make several surprises in 2023, let's explore the most exclusive of them in this video. This is a great land hopper, which is a compact version of the huge land cruiser. The urban crossover, which entered the automotive world as a mini land cruiser, is also offered as an electric car version. Earlier this year, Toyota unveiled the new 250 series Land Cruiser, marking the highly anticipated return of the nameplate to the USA, with the same model to be sold as the Land Cruiser Prado in some markets including Europe and Australia. Shortly after, the Japanese automaker teased the shadowy silhouette of a compact off-roader while announcing plans to expand the legendary nameplate, sparking speculation about the potential introduction of another Land Cruiser variant positioned below the 250 series. Now, it's been reported that this baby Land Cruiser could go by the name Land Hopper, serving as the cheapest point of entry in Toyota's growing lineup of off-road ready SUVs. According to Best Car Web, the Land Hopper name was registered as a trademark on August 8 with the Japanese Patent Office. The trademark falls under the Class 12 definition, which encompasses such categories as motors and engines for land vehicles, couplings and transmission components for land vehicles, and other parts that may make up said land vehicles. We should note here that Toyota's choice of the Land Hopper moniker may be specific to certain markets like Japan, as they might employ a different naming strategy in other regions. For example, they could revive the well-known FJ Cruiser nameplate for the North American market or opt for an alternative name, such as Compact Cruiser, which aligns with the concept believed to preview the production model. What's even more intriguing, is the rumored pricing for this compact off-roader, which could commence at under $27,000. According to the Japanese magazine, the starting price is expected to fall within the range of 3 million to 3.8 million yen, equivalent to $20,100-$25,500, at current exchange rates, in the domestic market. While it was previewed by concepts like the compact cruiser upon which our renders are based, there's a chance it could adopt the less playful and more utilitarian styling details of the 250 series Land Cruiser. Additionally, the news outlet anticipates it will share similar dimensions with the Corolla Cross. and sizing like that, 
it would compete with other compact adventure SUVs like the Ford Bronco Sport. However, while the general consensus is that those vehicles are more on the soft roader side of things, the Land Hopper is expected to come with the off-road prowess expected of a Land Cruiser in order to compete with some bona fide baby off-roaders like the Suzuki Jimny. Much like how the Bronco Sport borrows its engine options from the more pedestrian Escape, it's suspected that the Land Hopper could use versions of the Corolla Cross's gasoline and hybrid engine range, with the potential of the RAV4's powertrain options being offered as an upgrade. The magazine also mentions the possibility of an EV option being added down the line, but it has us wondering whether Toyota would go through the trouble of engineering a separate electric powertrain for what is supposed to be the most affordable Land Cruiser. With that in mind, the 250 series could get an EV option in the future, and the original compact cruiser concept was electric itself, so it can't be ruled out entirely. Either way, it seems like we'll be finding out more about the SUV soon, as the Japanese outlets predicts a reveal at the Japan Mobility Show in late October before an eventual release in the second half of 2024. Toyota, the renowned automobile manufacturer, has recently unveiled its latest offering, the Land Cruiser Prado. But that's not all, alongside this impressive SUV, the company has also teased a compact off-roader. This upcoming SUV is expected to join the esteemed Land Cruiser lineup, alongside models like the Land Cruiser Prado, and Land Cruiser 300. Rumor has it that this exciting new edition might bear the name Toyota Land Hopper. Let's delve into the details of this intriguing SUV. Multiple names for different markets. According to media reports, Toyota plans to give this upcoming SUV different names depending on the market it's intended for. Similar to the recently launched Land Cruiser Prado, which goes by Land Cruiser 250 in the North American market, this SUV may be known as the Land Hopper when it debuts in Japan. Toyota even took steps to trademark the name Land Hopper with the Japanese patent office back in August of this year. During the unveiling event of the Land Cruiser Prado, Toyota's design chief, Simon Humphreys, dropped hints about this model. He expressed the desire to keep the Land Cruiser brand relevant, and affordable. With this forthcoming SUV, Toyota may adopt a strategy of introducing the vehicle with different names in various markets. Design and powertrain of the Toyota Land Hopper While specific details about the Land Hopper remain under wraps, it's speculated that Toyota might launch this compact cruiser alongside its lineup of electric vehicle EV, models. A teaser video has provided a sneak peek at its design, showcasing a boxy and upright.
Notably, the front of the vehicle features a distinctive C-shaped light signature. Leaks suggest that the Land Hopper's size could be similar to the Corolla Cross, measuring approximately 4.4 meters in length. However, one intriguing difference between the concept and the teaser is the presence of an extra wheel fitted onto the tailgate. Official confirmation about this new compact SUV is still pending, but sources indicate that Toyota may introduce it by the end of this year at the Tokyo Auto Show. As Toyota continues to expand its already impressive lineup of SUVs, the Land Hopper promises to be a versatile and adventurous addition, catering to the evolving needs and preferences of consumers across different markets. Stay tuned for more updates on this exciting new off-roader. As every off-roading enthusiast with a thing for Toyota's rugged vehicles can tell you, the Land Series family is made of three members. Also known as the Prado, the J250 is the latest one to have received a new generation. The larger J300 joins it, and the J70 rounds off the offering. It appears that the Japanese automaker wants to expand the legacy of the Land Cruiser with a smaller model. And by legacy, we mean some styling traits and perhaps some buttons and knobs. Otherwise, the two will probably not share anything else, not even the same off-road prowess, as the smaller model is likely to feature a unibody construction and not a body on frame. A recent report coming from Japan states that the model may be christened the Toyota Land Hopper. Proof might stand a recent trademark registration with the local office dating back to August 8. It can be used for land vehicles, engines, motors, transmission components, and other stuff. As we have learned over the years, securing a moniker does not necessarily mean that a new car is coming. This is where the buck part comes in because Japanese outlets believe it might be due as early as this month. Rugged styling and boxy proportions. Everything seems to indicate that the alleged Toyota Land Hopper will look like a smaller Land Cruiser.